What is going on guys? It's MKC Technology here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to set up Streamlabs OBS. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like for more videos, comment down below on what you think about this video, but try not to put any bad comments. With that being said, let's get started. to go ahead and set up Streamlabs OBS the first thing you want to do is download Streamlabs OBS so go to this website I'll leave a link in the description box down below for you to go ahead and set up Streamlabs OBS so from here let's go ahead and download Streamlabs OBS it's 244 megabytes so I'll probably be back when it's done downloading so Streamlabs OBS just finished downloading let's go ahead and set this up so all we have to do is click on agree and it'll, it'll start initializing the uh, setup process and then it'll start uh, what you call it installing so again I'll re I'll be right back when it's done uh, installing so as you see here on screen, uh, Streamlabs finally finished downloading and installing. So let's go ahead and open it up. And as you see, Streamlabs actually checks for software updates um, as you start to open it up. And that's a really good thing that the developers of Streamlabs have implemented into the software. So you're probably wondering why did the developers of Streamlabs develop this version of OBS when OBS Studio is there for the taking, right? Well, the developers of Streamlabs created this version of OBS to help streamers do what they do better, right? So you can go ahead and use OBS Studio, but Streamlabs makes a whole everything a whole lot way better and easier to use, right? If you if you were to use OBS Studio, Studio, you'll have to go in and set what which service you want to use to stream to, and then you have to go ahead and type in your um, stream key when and then you have to do all these other things in stream uh, in OBS to get everything perfect and start setting it up to stream properly right well in Streamlabs OBS all you have to do is log in to your Twitch account or or your YouTube account right so let's go ahead and log into my Twitch account uh, by going into the top right hand corner and clicking on login and then choosing whatever service you want to stream to so for me It's twitch So I'll just go, just go ahead and click on twitch and then click on authorize to authorize the login All right, so all, That's all you have to do all you have to do is go in and choose whatever service you want to stream to and it will go ahead and choose the service you want to stream to and it will also uh, put in your stream key so you don't have to do anything else and why that's happening it will also choose the fastest and the closest server near to you so if you were to go in and click on this on this arrow right here and then go into live um as you see here not everything popped up but your chat box is right here Whoever subscribed or followed you on Twitch or Mixer or YouTube will be right here. Your scenes and your audio is right here. And then whatever you're doing on screen is right here. So that's a lot of things. It makes a lot of things more easier. And this stuff should have been implemented in OBS Studio or OBS Classic years ago. But they haven't done this. So that's what makes... Well, that what, that's what sets Streamlabs OBS apart from OBS Studio. Um, so let's actually go back into our editor and close this out right here and then let's start going into our settings so if you are using a 720p display like me um, this window the settings window is not correctly optimized for 720p displays so you'll have to actually resize it back and forth to get everything fit to your screen correctly so once you go into your settings you'll want to have this checked so that you don't automatically or you don't actually start 
accidentally start streaming uh, by accident because that's really dangerous if you do not have this checked. Uh, a lot of people on Twitter, Twitch will tell you um, that it is really good to have this checked because it saved them a lot of times because they have that this little checkbox checked. Now, if we go into our streaming options, as you see here, your your streaming service is already checked and already um set to Twitch, right? I went ahead and logged into Twitch, so my streaming service is set to Twitch, right? And as you see for my server, it's set to US East Miami, Florida, and my stream key is already right here. I do not have to set any of this. Now, for my output settings, you'll want to have everything as you want to have everything set to how I put it. So for your encoder, you want to set it to software x264. All right, and then you want to have your rate control set to CBR and then your bit rate set to uh, 3000. And then for your keyframe interval, you'll want to have it on two. And then for your CPU usage, you want to have it on you want to have it on ultra fast. For your profile, you'll want to have it on main. And then for your tune, you'll want to have it on animation. Now for your X264 options, you'll want to type in OpenCL equals true. So O P E N C L and then the equal sign T R U E. All right, and after you've done that, go into your recording settings, which is right under your streaming settings, and you'll want to set everything how I set it. So you don't have to touch these two. If you want to set your recording path to a different recording path, that's completely up to you. So uh, you really don't have to touch these. So for your recording format, you'll want to set it to MP4 so that you don't have to convert it, convert a FLV file or MKV file into an MP4. For your recording format, you'll want to have it on software x264. For your recording or for your rate control, you'll want to have it on CRF or VBR. So if you if you, if it can't set to VBR or CF CFR, then you really don't have to worry about anything. Now, since this application is still in beta, you can't choose most of your rate controls. So you go, you only could choose CBR. So that's basically how everything's set. So if you're gonna choose CBR, um, you want to have it set to 3000. Now for your keyframe intervals, it's already set to two. For my CPU usage, I like to set it on faster. For my profile, it's on main, and then for my tune, I set it on animation. Now, for the X264 options, I type in O P E N C L equals true. Now, for my audio settings, it's all set to 192 for my audio bit rate and then you don't have to set anything for the name if you don't want to for the audio um, I just said it how this is since I use my gaming headset a lot of all the time when I'm on my computer I like to have it set to my speaker rather than my AMD HDMI output for my mic auxiliary I have it set to microphone real tech high definition audio for my video I like to have it set for my base canvas, I like to ha have it set for 1080p and then have it downscale to 1280 by 720p. And then for my downscale uh, filter, I like to have it on bicubular and then for my FPS type, it's on common FPS values. And then for my common FPS values, I like to have it on 60 FPS or 59.940. Now for my hotkeys, I don't really mess with them due to the fact that I don't want to press a button and have everything start recording accidentally. For my advanced options, I like to have everything set to above normal and then my renderer on uh, direct 3D11 and then my color format to RGB and then my YUV color range all the way up to full. And then for my overlays, 
you don't have to worry about that and then for your notifications everything is set to the way you want it to be now let's go ahead and get into setting up our sources so to set up our display capture all you have to do is hit the plus button and then click on display capture and then click add source then click done all right now we at the same time we also have to set up a uh, game capture right so this has to be set to like this now um this developers of streamlabs actually has to fix this little problem glitch right here now for some reason whenever in obs studio whenever you do like this the screen will actually snap to the correct position of the of its display or of its resolution but um since this application is in beta it's not going to do that as of yet so let me actually make this a tiny bit smaller uh so let's see if that's good no it's not it needs to be a little bit bigger so that's good enough so we need to also set our game capture so that's right here, right under display capture. Then we click add source, then click okay. And then we have to do a scale resolution of 1280 by 720p. And then we have to click on this checkbox right here to capture third party overlay such as your stream. Um, after we've done set our game capture, game capture we want to add our alert box. And then we want to click done. And then for me, I like to have it set on, let's say 350 by, let's do 800. Now, you know what? Let's set it to a thousand. All right, so that's good enough. So right, that's set to like that. And then from here, we want to set our chat box. Where is it? Here it is. Click add source, click done. And then I'm going to set it to, let's say 300 by 500. Nope. So let's change the height to 500 and then the width to 300. There we go. And then I'm just going to put it like that. And you know what? Um, let's change the width to 350. There we go. And then the next thing we have to do is set our viewer count. And so I'm just going to put it on, let's leave it to on 200 and then let's put this on 400. So let's put everything like that. And you know what? Let's make the... Uh, let's make the height at 100. All right, so this glitch or this bug right here needs to stop. Whenever I hit the back button, there's always a one right there. So that needs to stop. So there we go. Our uh, viewer box is right there. Or whoever's our viewers, our viewer count is right there. And then all we have to do now is set our donation goal. Where is it? Here it is. Donation goal. Uh, so let's click on done. And then all we have to do now is set the height to 100 by, let's say, 800. And then just put this right down here. And then I like to, uh, to make sure everything is center. There we go. 
It's not completely center, but it's almost center. So. Uh, there we go. It's almost center, but it's center. So there we go. Everything is centered the way I want it to be. Now, you can set more uh, sources, but that's completely up to you. But let's see if there's anything else I want to add. I can add a stream label, but no. Or you can also add your credits to the end of the uh, to the thing. So whenever you're done streaming, your credits come up. But um, yeah, that's how you set up Streamlabs OBS. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I'm MKC Technology. I'm out. Peace. It's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire.